How do you increase your confidence when you are selling your own products, programs, and services? Well, that's a question that I get asked a lot because I know what it feels like when you create your products, your program, your course, your subscription, your online mini course, when you're creating something and it's you, it's your brand, it's part of you. It's like you've given birth to your own baby, you know? It's like, you feed it, you nurture it, you water it, you love it, you grow it, and it's part of you. And when it's so connected to you, what can happen is that you get into perfection and perfection is poverty and paralysis. It paralyzes you when you try and go into perfection. But the thing is that you're gonna want your product or program, your mini course to be as perfect as possible. Of course you are. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to distance yourself from it. Otherwise, you're always going to feel really emotional and you're going to have a sticking point whenever you want to sell it, right? And it might then come across as desperate or, God, you know, I've got to sell this. I have to make that sale. So here's something that I recommend to my Ripple Makers Mastermind members. I had a call with somebody earlier. I recommended the same thing to her and I recommend the same thing to you if you're experiencing this kind of lack of confidence when it comes to selling your product or program. There's actually two things. <laughs> uh, the first is that when you detach yourself from it and you see yourself as separate from it, as in your business is not you and you are not your business and your product is not you and you are not your product. The product or the program is a part of the history, the intelligence that you've gathered, the wisdom. Yes, it's part of all of those things, but it's not part of you. What you've done is taken your wisdom and you've packaged it up in a way that can really help somebody in their life in some way, yes or no. So when you've got that wisdom and you've got that intelligence and you've packaged it all up and you've got it ready to sell, why is it so difficult then to sell it? Well, it's usually because you're so attached to the product or program, you're so attached to the outcome that you've got to make sales, you've got to sell it. And emotionally, it's like you're selling a part of yourself. So what we've got to do is disconnect you from that. I want you to see your product, your program, your retreat, your event, whatever it is that you're selling, I want you to see it as in, it's your best friend that has created this. Distance yourself from it. Imagine that it was your best friend or somebody that you really care about and you think, you know what? Like, I love them. I know how much work they've put into this. I know they've got all the wisdom. I know when they sell that thing, they're gonna deliver on their promise. So I'm gonna support them as best I can. I'm gonna become an ambassador for my friend and her product or his product and I'm gonna get it out there changing lives because I know that it can. And that's the thing is that you do know that it can and you know that it will change lives. It's just when it's you that's selling it and you probably find it so much easier to promote somebody else's product or program than you do your own. And that's why I want you to distance yourself from it. The other thing that I want you to consider as well as part of this little confidence mix is that when you have a lack of confidence in yourself, Again, that's emotive. You're being emotively driven by that, right? Whereas your product or program, it doesn't have emotions. It just knows that it's going to serve and it knows that it's going to do it really well. But when you are responsible for selling it, then it's different. Again, you're emotionally attached to it. So here's what I would suggest you do. If you're lacking confidence in yourself, throw all of your confidence into your products or program. You don't need to be confident in you. You just need to be confident that the product or program is going to work and that it's gonna make the difference that you are promising that it's going to make. So there's two things right there that can help you immediately. First of all, put all your confidence in the product or program because you know it's brilliant and it's gonna change lives. The second thing is to distance yourself from it, detach yourself from it, and imagine that it's your best friend that you've known all your life that has poured all of their wisdom, their knowledge, their experience, their time, they've poured all of that into this product or program and you have so much faith in your friend in creating that, that you're going to do everything you can to support them, to become an ambassador of it. And therefore, you've now detached yourself from it. You're now positioning yourself as somebody that absolutely loves this product or program so much that you cannot wait 
for everyone in the world to know about it. And that's when you step up as an ambassador. That's when you really step up and start shining your light on the world because you're proud of what you're promoting. You're proud of the promise that it's delivering. And you know with every cell in your body that if that product or program touched a thousand lives in the next 24 hours, it would make an incredible difference to them. So get confident about that. You don't need confidence in yourself. And the more confident you get talking about that, the more your confidence is gonna rise. So remember anything that you do, it's not a life sentence. This is something that you can see as a, what if it was fun? What if this brought lots and lots of joy to people? What if this did change lots of lives? What if my life were able to change as a result of the change I'm making in the lives of others and see it that way? I hope that you like this video. If you do, please subscribe, give it a like, share it with your friends, and uh, I'll be back in touch tomorrow with another tip. And like I say, when you subscribe, you're getting access to different tips, tools, tricks, and advice each and every day. So take care and I will see you in the next video. See you soon. Mwah.